Brace yourself for some bad news. Despite all our gains, women still do two-thirds of the world's work, receive only 10% of the world's income, and own 1% of all means of production. One in three women will experience some form of violence in her lifetime. Add to this already grim scenario the presence of armed guerrillas, foreign troops, and child soldiers bearing AK-47s. Women's lives, which are already unsafe in ordinary times, become even more vulnerable during times of conflict. Meanwhile, military-led expenditures exceed $4 billion a day, with the United States accounting for nearly half of this total. As I grew up, I saw army personnel coming to our house. I saw rebel groups asking for food and shelter, keeping the AK-47. And I thought all those were normal ways of growing up. Imagine living in a part of the world where after 5 o'clock you can't move out. Imagine living in a part of the world where you pay two kinds of taxes, one to the government and one to the rebel groups. Imagine living in a part of the world where every half a kilometer you have a military with a gun pointed at you. And imagine again where military tanks move like an occupation army. That's Manipur where I am from. At the Global Fund for Women, we recognize that in this harsh, militarized global climate, it is women who are making a difference. And for this reason, we have launched a powerful and special initiative. The Global Fund for Women's Initiative on Dismantling Militarism saves lives. Civilians are overwhelmingly the casualties of modern warfare. Women's groups like the Manipur Gun Survivors Network and the 117 other organizations already funded through this initiative save lives every day. Global Fund grantee, the Manipur Women Gun Survivors Network actively lobbies and educates government, civil society and international agencies about this specific form of violence against women. This is a group that actually got started because a woman saw her husband, 27 year old young man, get dragged out of his workplace by three gunmen and was gunned down and shot to death. Nobody ever found out who the gunmen were or why they shot him to death. Uh, Bina Lakshmi, who now heads the Manipur Gun Survivors Network, saw the aftermath of that and she started collecting money so this woman could have a sewing machine and start to earn a living. Thanks to the group, 40 women survivors of gun violence are now economically independent and an inspiration to women-led household disarmament campaigns. One of the first things that this group did was they started going door to door collecting handguns out of people's homes. Women are tired of, of armies waging wars, wreaking havoc in our communities, destroying our livelihoods, killing our children, taking our daughters and enslaving them and brutalizing them. And women have been putting up a resistance to this all over the world for the longest time. They deserve to be supported in doing that. What I love about the Global Fund's initiative is that we're empowering women within their own communities to build networks of communication and education and support systems and political power. So I am involved in this initiative because I want to participate in rebuilding communities, setting right what has happened because of wars, and making peace by the power of women.